Welcome to Phipps Park, Martin County's premier camping facility. Gate closed at 7.30. We'll be taking our time in here. There we go. Sites 1 through 57. So, what little bit I know, looks like sites one through four have a nice backyard. And then five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten are the same way, short backyard, and then 11, 12 has a big backyard. So they're a little more desirable, 11, 12, and one through four, if you want a big backyard. sites for sure just don't have a big backyard now what they plan here pull-ins must be because he's pulled in okay so 25 26 Pulling in's halfway cool. I could go down here and pull in if that, but you're supposed to back in. That's right. Yeah, they're back ends. I gotta see why this guy's pulled in. Not that it matters. I guess just because he wants to. Yeah, okay. It's still a back end. They're all back ends. Watch the sand here, it's a little slick. Right, that's what little bit I was reading said, like the first 12 or something were the only ones with electric. I'm gonna go down this path, just cause it looks interesting. This is this Okeechobee Waterway. Oh, there's another nice fishing pier. This side salt water I just found out today. Somebody left their kayak down there. I don't think I'd ride my bike down that. You have a brake failure and you'd be swimming. Yeah. I seen something jumping over here. Get to see these sights from the other side now. Except you can't tell what numbers they are. Can really get cooking here just coasting. There's a couple of lizards. See them all over the place. Oh, there's a big one. Oh, somebody's out fishing. There's a lizard. 
Lizard galore. Okay, so this is where the four, five, six is. Four, five. I don't know. I'll have to look at my video. Well, there's a left turn here. Yeah, I'm not going out on the pier. It's a nice fishing pier. Okay, so you've seen the coolest part of the park. To me, that's the coolest. Um, the interior sites are nice. I think if you want to save 10 bucks, you could park on the interior. So the ones with the big backyard is one, two, three, four. And that's it. One, two, three, and four. Okay. Now I got my story straight. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. And 11 and 12 have the big backyards. Well, they got big backyards, but. Right. They're right. We know what we mean. That has the big flat backyard, right. and the other ones have the big Some slope backyard. Slope. Yep, which is cool. But these ones here on the right are ten bucks cheaper. I don't see nothing wrong with them either. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> they're all nice level sites. At least I was skeptical, but they're designed perfectly for motorhomes. This is the, what they called the laundry mat. Then we're the rest of the waterfront sites. This is called the laundry mat. Oh, look, they got a water bottle filling station. There's the recycler or just regular garbage. Now, the coolest part about this is them tents. We're gonna go check them out in a minute. Hey, there's another sidewalk that I'm not biking down. They got some nice sidewalks here. If you had to push a wheelchair or something. Heck yeah. When I can't bike anymore, I can ride my scooter over here, look. I can ride my scooter. So this is the Eco Tents. I looked them up and they're $35 a night right now. There's no electric. There's lots of lizards. There went one. There's one booking right. Oh, look at this white bird. Hi, guy. I didn't mean to disturb you, but I'm coming on by. <laughs> he didn't like that. He scolded us. Okay. I don't know what that just was. That was a big lizard there. go that way down by the tents nineteen eighteen there's a lot of tents here it's counting down I'm gonna go across another bridge watch the sand here Ugh. See what's out here. It looks like a tent all by itself, a couple of them. These are the ones you go to if you want to walk the furthest. Oh, look, going with the flow. Nice hard ground here for a, there's lizards. If I was going to camp here, 
I know 100% I would bring duct tape because I would have to duct tape my screen shut. <laughs> yeah, a pistol in case the alligator wakes you up. Oh, oh. What is that? A gopher tortoise? No, somebody's garbage. Okay. No, I thought maybe it was a sign. That looks kind of a neat trail there. I don't know where it goes though. I'm going to stick with the tent for now. Okay, more tents. Alligators and snakes in the area. No swimming, it says. Do not feed the wildlife. Does kind of look like there might have been a gator there. Yeah, he moves the water. I don't know. Oh, there's something running. That's a mink. No, that's a marsh rabbit. A baby gator jumped in. That. There was a marsh rabbit and a baby gator. So what number tents are we here? Tent number six. There goes some more rabbits. <laughs> if I was a rabbit, I'd live in the tent. Yeah, I looked these up, and they're 35 bucks a night right now. Yeah, that lady told me you live in Under the, oh yeah, I believe it. Well, we've seen a baby gator and plenty of marsh rabbits, so that's kind of cool. Now we're back where we started. Here's some lizards. Yep, another lizard, another couple lizards. Let's go down to the end, I guess. Yep, pesky little squirrel. That one don't have any screens. I wouldn't rent that one. Maybe it's getting a refit. There's a lizard hanging on the screen. Check out time is 12 noon. We had to check out at 11. Wonder what's digging there. Oh yeah, he was lickety split around the corner. 13. I like this one. Speaking of lizards, look at these guys. See if I can, they'll run. Yep, they do, they went right under. They're hanging on the screen on the back of that <laughs> That's some, two of them went right under. Cause I could see them. Oh yeah. I'm scared of them. See these here, these are pretty good ones. I guess you could bring like some sandbags to hold the tent down. Get diving weights. Bring your diving weights. What goes to the right? Nothing. Zippo. Yeah, we'll go this. Let's go back to the tents. Back in. We'll do the rest of the park since I got the camera rolling. Rest of the park. Pretty smooth ground for being dirt. The 
somebody left their shoes in there. Okay. We went down there. We went straight ahead. We're going back up our road to the left here. Yeah. I've worked up the thirst, so I got to see how my water's doing. So if you stayed in one of them tents and had to go to the bathroom, this is the way you come. I'm going to go up where you fill your water bottles just to see what it's like. You have to know the key code. Because they do have a code. And over here is the water. But it even smells clean. <laughs> 